Hi there, thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Mark, and this is my playthrough on Red Dead Redemption 2. Currently we're on episode 12, and if you watched the last episode, the very last thing we did was we promised Charles we'd go and talk to Eagle Flies. So we're just heading up to the Wapititi Reservation, I think it's called. That's where they're all held up, and we're going to talk to Eagle Fly and enjoy the video. this they've got a proper a proper camp with teepees and everything cool so where is rain spot hello come in Sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the trap. Um, yeah. We'll help. Even just a couple hours of your time 
Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. So it's going to help us try and get better, or... I don't know, just help us temporarily, I don't know. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah. No, get out of here. Good. There was no need to harm them. The horse is getting spooked though. Huh. There we go. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Well, um... How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly move? what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, We'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will f Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay, let's continue on. So, yes, uh, where were we? We'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. And I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Oh, where's my ass going? Half a you son. Know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. Oh. His mother, Eliza. The waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Saw two crosses outside, and I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Wow, I've never been up here. This is beautiful. This will combine well. Oh, he's doing this to help me, so that's good. 
Wow, this is such a good spot. I'm glad I helped this dude Wait now. There. <laughs> I'll put these in your saddlebag. Oh, okay. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Can we do this right you now? You were saying before. Some bastards had come through, robbed them, and shot them dead, and offered ten dollars. Harden me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then... Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there's much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. I hope he's right. Just up ahead. What's happened? No, it can't be. What's happened? What is it? No, they destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. Yeah, there's clues everywhere. Let's have a look at all these clues. The Tanupa is gone. Of course. What is it? Uh, the ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. I see no end to any of this. Clues everywhere. There's some whiskey here. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bastards are having a poor over here. This is a place of peace. Hold on, what's this? More whiskey? Can't carry any more whiskey, so why don't we drink some? What reason would they have?
Oh, what's this? Look there. Smoke. Oh, I see it. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Hmm. So what do we do? Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But... Let's get down there. So, what happened to Captain Monroe? I heard old Favors was trying to get him transferred. Don't like him much. He always seemed like. Hey, I heard something. We got it again! Okay, pick up. All right, let's get back to eagle flies. Uh, okay, some horns. I, uh, I got your things. I, I think. Yes, we got it. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe... I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself.
He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Playing sights again, Dutch. Okay. Ooh. Come on. We look like real cops. Okay, that's cool. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sweat. <laughs> Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? <laughs> really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Yeah, if we do this right, at least that's one less person to worry about, Como Driscoll. Let's go, quiet. <clears throat> What's it look like? Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. 
So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. On so, the roof. They got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. Mm -hmm. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. <laughs> Let's try these stairs, see what these lead. Uh, hello. Partner. Let's go out here. I'm looking for a way onto the roof. Um. Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. <laughs> Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. There he is. Oh man, could I shoot him right now? He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges... This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And yes. your sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. Yep, it is not right. a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out oh, he looks if nervous. our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? He looks scared now. Call Modrisk. Oh. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Finally. I know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh, say that. Lucky bastard. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. 
Finally, that son of a bitch swing. Get on, Arthur. Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry. For everything. For everything long ago, and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago, when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope, by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. It's best to let Murray go anyway. I wouldn't like Murray to have seen Arthur ill anyway, so I'm glad. Hey, big man. I'm worried. I'm really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. I really like Uncle. <laughs> Look how he's walking. He's drunk, but wow. I really like him. Yeah, like I was going to say, we haven't got much time left, and I wouldn't like Murray to have seen us while we're dying, so 
It's definitely for the best that she's moved on and not known, not knowing. I don't know, I'm blabbering. What's your problem, brother? But things are really starting to fall no, apart in the camp. Look at how you're acting. Who's arguing now with Charles? You have a problem? Arthur. I don't know yet. Wait a minute. Thank you. Well, use your brain, friend. Thank you so much. Use your brain. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems. To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. Particularly. I don't have to be careful. You're making a dumb choice, I... man. I made no choice. I have you as a friend. Why is Yavier giving Charles a lot of shit? Seems he's Hi, picked Charles. his side. Now, Are there sides now? Hi. Seems that way. Camp just doesn't seem like it used to be. You okay, Mary Beth? Are you okay, Arthur? What happened with Strauss? There's nothing else for him left here. Maybe not for the rest of us, neither. Hmm, so Mike Bell is over here. Oh, he's with Bill. Ugh. <sighs> God, I really don't want to do a mission with these two fuckers. Ah, um, there oh, he is. Micah. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Fuck off, Micah. Excuse me? Was you followed? You know who you're talking to. I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, weigh your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> All right, let's go. I fucking hate him. Uh, if only I could do this. Every minute counts for a man in your condition. Fuck off, Micah. Gee, oh, uh, 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 uh. Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through the and horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> Apparently, I'm becoming un unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that need it. Be done. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I, see I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, you was just talking about something. Right now? With the 
Pinkerton's breathing down our necks. See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. The okay. Shell. Let's hold up here. So, wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg, and it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you—you're the better actor. No, you play dead and. I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. I've got a better rifle than that. Let me know my bolt action. Um, in the beginning. Oh, okay. Press rounds. Wagon. Is that Bill? Oh. Holy shit, this is full of explosives. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drug playing. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Yeah, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Trouble already? Okay, I'm trying to quit. They get a one good shot, I'll blow as close to Kingdom Come. I thought there was no law Yeah. Oh, his shotgun went off as well. Does it really matter right now, Bill? That was good. Fuck, come out the back of his head. That was... I'm all right, Arthur. How's that, my man? Bill? You impress yet, Bill? Close. Don't reckon I'm 
cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. Does this make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with a moment. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. Whoa! So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and nope. uh, you find me irritating, yep. and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur, but I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said. Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Fuck off, Micah. Who got it coming? Hey, boys. Whoa. It's one of them what hurt our kid. Oh, great. Who are these clowns? Come on, Genevieve. Come on. Yep. Good girl. Wow, I was just gonna have a peaceful um, ride then as well. <laughs> There's John. Oh, he's with Dutch as well. And Bill and Eagle Flies and I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll be with Eagle Flies, won't I? Uh, I've got. I've just got a bad feeling. I, I, I think Dutch is just using these guys. You know. I was on my way to do, go and see John, but. We just happened to pass Dutch. <laughs> so we might as well do him while we're here. Uh, he's gonna fuck these over Dutch. He's gonna cause a war. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me.
Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. Uh, we always but help him, but I feel like we shouldn't. In this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial mm. to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. He's using them. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Archie. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. This is not gonna go well. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. You know how I know this is gonna go bad? Because we would not be setting up this dynamite otherwise. I think that should do it! Come on now, quick! Get back up here! Okay, let's go, Arthur! Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance! The detonator is by me! Here! My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone! Who are you? A concerned citizen! Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! My father... Uh Patrol in the rear! Looks like we got a fire in, boys! Oh, 
Jones, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Ah! Holy shit. Oh, that scared me. Is that shit? Chaz, it didn't go off or something? Or was it these clowns? Peter. Damn. We're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Yeah. Dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right. Let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? Get out of here! Let's see if we can look. Put them down here. Shit! I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur.
This is it! This is... Well, Arthur... Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. Um, uh, always... This is a good one. This better be a Hello! good plan. Hello! <laughs> Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Can't surrender. Keep your hands up and come here. Do we surrender? Come here! Back we, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed? They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's out of a movie. Oh shit! I can't swim. Oh, they're still shooting at those shits. Go, go, go! Faster, faster! Rapids. Come on, Dutch. Grab on. We're almost home. Come here, big boy. Oh, I got you. <laughs> You're okay. That was too close. Oh, you're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know, but a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is he? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Keep saying Have that. Faith. But we're dying. Okay, we're gonna go and find John. <laughs> so we're finally at John Marston, or near John Marston. We're just admiring this beautiful view. Oh. There's me ass. Right, let's go meet up with John. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Yeah, we better watch that. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. It's Mike is rubbing off on him. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or 
Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Uh, push. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can oh my, get down this work? and plant the charges. Pull down. As I We've pushes the bar the down, paper. release. Sure. As he raises it. Over Not releasing it in time will cause... Oh, this looks... Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean... We're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Look at us too. <laughs> I love John. Come on, John. Pump. Pump. All right, stop. Here's Ugh, that was horrible. It was actually hard work. We still got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Ready when you are. Got it. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Oh, there. That's the spot, lower it from there. <laughs> Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not some. Okay, good. Grab the other one. A bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Oh yeah, this will come down like a deck of cards. Dynamite on the pillar. Okay. I should go get the oh, handcuff. That you fell. okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. Wow. This better work. One left, I think. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Oh, they'll do the job. I think probably just two of these would be enough to bring this bridge down. Shit! I think I hear something coming. What? Get up here quick! Yeah, I'm on my way. 
Oh, just shit. Faster, buddy, come on. Shit. You're not gonna pump this fast. Arthur. Oh. A train. Uh, come on, push. quick! Pump, pump this stupid thing. Hold as you can. Pump. Oh shit, it's coming up fast. Let's go, let's go. Just go. get to the end of the go. jump. Go. Get ready to go. jump. It's right on us. Come on. Jump, jump, jump. God, that was close. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> that just ain't how I want to die. I, knew, I had a feeling that was going to happen, Come on. to be honest. Let's go blow this thing up. I'm going to deliver my goods in online across a track that gets a. Uh, it's near Blackwater for my delivery. And I always encounter a train on the track. And near enough that happens. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Um, oh, use. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> 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 It just uh, here. It looks like he's gonna die real soon. He's gonna die real soon. <laughs> 